Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to connect our React application with Get All Employees REST API. Well, here are the development steps. First, we'll install ArcGIS library. Well, in order to make a REST API call in a React application, we have to use third-party HTTP library. Well, in this project, we are going to use ArcGIS third-party library to make a REST API call in a React application. Next, we will create an employee service.js file. Next, within this employee service.js file, we are going to write a REST client code to make a REST API call using Axios API. Next, we will change list employee component to display the response of the REST API. Well, instead of displaying the dummy data, we are going to display the response of the REST API in a list employee component. And finally, we are going to test all these changes. So, first step is install Axios library. So, let us go to our VS Code and let us first install the Axios library. So here go to the terminal over here. So go to second terminal and here let me clear the terminal first. So in order to install the Axios, we have to use the command npm install and then Axios hyphen hyphen save. So this is the command that we use to install the Axios. So just hit enter. Notice here the Axios is installed. So let us confirm. So go to package.json file and go to dependency section and notice here the Axios library is successfully installed. Next let us take a look into next step. Next step is create employee service.js file and within this file let us write the REST client code to make a REST API call using Axios API. So let us go back to VS code and here go to src folder. Within that let's create a new folder and let's call it as services. Within a services package let's create a new file let's call it as employee service.js next within this employee service.js file let us write the rest client code to make a rest api call using Axios api so here let me minimize this let me minimize this so here let us import Axios object from the Axios library so once we got the Axios object next we can call its apis next let's declare the constant constant let us give variable name as rest api base url equal to so here let us give the base url for our spring boot project that is http localhost 8080 slash api slash employees so this is the base url for all the rest apis for employee resource right next let us create a javascript function within that we will make get all employees rest api so here let us use javascript arrow function and let, let us export that function so let us use export keyword to export the function and then const and then let us use the variable name list employees and then plat arrow symbol within a open close braces let us have a return statement and then axios dot get method and then pass rest api base URL. perfect now we have written a rest client code to make you know get all employees rest api call all right and notice here this javascript arrow function has a body and within a body there is only one statement right so we can even simplify this function so for example let us remove this open curly braces and return keyword and also the close curly brace okay so this is the simplified version of this javascript arrow function okay perfect now we have written a rest client code to make get all employees rest api next let us take a look on the next step next step is change list employee component to display response of the rest api so let us go to list employee component over here and within list employee component we have a dummy data so let us remove this dummy data so we are going to display the response of the rest api instead of dummy data all right so in order to hold the response of the rest api we have to use the state variable and in a functional components in order to define the state variables we have to use use state hook okay so just remember use state hook allows us to use state variables in a functional components all right so in order to use use state hook we have to first import use state hook at the top so here let us have open close curly braces and within that just import use state hook and make sure that 
you use use state hook from react library all right next use state hook is just a javascript function so let us call use state hook and use state hook takes the parameter so the parameter is a initial value of the state variable so in this case let us give empty array next use state hook returns an array with exact two values first is a state variable second is a function that updates the state variable so here const and then array so array should have two values first is the state variable name for example in this case employees second value as a function that updates the state variable so the function name is set employees okay just remember use state hook allows us to define the state variables in a functional components and this is the syntax to use use state hook okay so use state hook is a just a javascript function we can pass the you know initial value to this use state hook and use state hook returns the array with exact two values first is the state variable second is the function that updates the state variable next in order to make the rest api call or the ajax call in a react functional components we have to use use effect hook for example here let us call use effect and make sure that you choose use effect hook from react library and make sure that use effect hook is imported at the top from the react library all right next notice here use effect hook takes two parameters first parameter is the callback function second parameter is a dependency list so here let us pass arrow function as a callback function and second parameter is a dependency list as of now there is no dependency so let us keep you know empty array like this next within a use effect hook let us call list employees method from employee service and this method has a then method and look at here then method takes a promise object so let us have a promise object over here a response is a promise object next let us have a arrow function all right next let us go ahead and let us set the response to this employees state variable so in order to do that we can use set employees method so here just call set employees and then pass response dot data perfect next let us have a catch block over here so if there are any errors while calling the get all employees rest api that we can catch here and we can display that error to the console so here let us pass error object so in order to display this let us use arrow function over here and then console dot error and then pass error object perfect now we have written a logic to get the response of the rest api and store that data in a employees state variable next scroll down and here you can see dummy data we are not using dummy data variable we are using employees state variable and this employee state variable holds the response of the rest api right the response is basically a list of employees and here we are using map method to iterate toward this employees array and display you know employees in a table next let us save this file and let's go to browser and just refresh and here you can see the issue blocked by course polish issue well react application is running on port 3000 and spring boot application is running on port 8080 it's both the applications are running on different ports that's why the browser typically you know uh, gives this kind of course policy error all right so now in order to solve this issue what we need to do is we need to handle this kind of course policy issue at a spring boot application so spring boot provides at course origin annotation that we can use to allow react application to call the rest apis all right so let me show you how we can resolve this issue so let's go to integer idea and go to employee controller over here and let us go ahead and let's annotate this employee controller class with at cross origin annotation and here let us pass star so star means all the clients can able to call the employee related rest apis all right perfect next let us go ahead and let us restart this spring boot application all right perfect our spring boot application is up and running next let's go to browser and let us refresh the react application and there we go you can able to see the two employees are displayed in a 
list of employees table. Next, let us confirm whether this data is really coming from the MySQL database or not. So let's go to MySQL workbench, go to EMS database, go to employees table and look at here, the employees table has two employees, Sanjay and Ramesh. And if you go to React application, you can see Sanjay and Ramesh. It means our React application is successfully connected with get all employees REST API and displayed the response of that, that REST API in a list of employees table. Alright, Git, I will see you in the next lecture.